Recently, Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously allowed our association members to gather for an international seminar. It was a joyous occasion as Master and disciples reunited to meditate and pray for peace. During her visit to meet with our association members, Supreme Master Ching Hai also spoke of the teachings of past masters and answered the spiritual questions of fellow initiates. Throughout the ages, compassionate enlightened masters have urged people to surrender to the greater universal power by seeking the divine within, from which all other goodness and happiness follow. This message was echoed again in a three-part series, The Ego is the Greatest Enemy, during a discussion with Supreme Master Ching Hai and our association members during the International Gathering on December 6, 2008. It's truly like that. It's, it depends on the karma of that person. It brings you bad or good luck. It's also possible. But uh, even then, uh, she has chosen, yeah, <laughs> to be with you in this lifetime, or else you can never come into her life, okay? There must be some agreement. A husband and a wife, then you choose afterward. That's different. But a child who comes into your life, that must have been an agreement between you both. You see what I mean? So it cannot be completely your fault. Either you are harmful to her or she's harmful to you. It might not be the way she said. Of course, many people, they blame each other, you know, that's normal. But you cannot be feeling guilty for that. There's no proof that you've done anything to make her feel sick, okay? Many people have epilepsy in this world. They don't have any children either. <laughs> you okay? You understand me? They had it alone. Or they had it before children come. Uh, in this world, we have to give and take all the time. There's not really a rare person that come into your life completely good for you. Of course, uh, some people are less harmful, some people more harmful. But you can never tell. <laughs> you can only tell if you know it inside. But outside, you can never prove that who is harmful to you. Because sometimes a person, he looks very happy and smiling and all that, but not necessarily good for you. You see what I mean? You don't know where that person just came from. Sometimes it came from hell, just now. Yeah? And if you're near that person, he burns you. And not physically, but mentally, emotionally, all kind of things. And it make you feel very bugged, you know, very agitated and aggressive sometimes. You don't know why. Or bring some other misfortune into your life also, and you don't know why. You see what I mean? Yes. So in the old time, people would choose a husband and wife very carefully because of that. You see, if you're married to a good partner, yeah, lucky and compatible partner, hey, your life will be more peaceful. And if, unfortunately, you met some person who is more harmful to you than good, then your life is hell. Depends on how much harm. You know, like being good luck and happy life, only like 40% good, 60% bad, then it's very difficult life. Yeah? Uh, so if only 30% bad, and 60% good, oh, oh yeah, bearable. You know, but if 30% bad, 70% good, 80% good, then uh, you live okay. You see what I mean? There's no complete harmless person next to you, very rare. Only saintly people, true saints are harmless. They only bring good to you. They don't ever harm you, even invisibly. Uh, subconsciously. But normal people, you know, half sane, half human, they're still harmful to you, yeah? If they don't have the heart to change their uh, habit or their way of thinking inside, they still can carry negative influence and can make your life trouble. This is why every country they tell you, choose your friends, <laughs> yeah? Right? Every country they say that, or not? Yes. Tell me the company you keep and I will tell you who you are. Things like that, yeah. Choose your friends carefully, 
rather have no friends than bad friends. But in this life, we could never know who's a bad friend or a good friend. Sometimes people seem to be very enthusiastic to us and try to be very helpful to us, but not necessarily. They are not necessarily harmless, no. They're not necessarily good for us. They help you a little thing, but they harm you a bigger thing. Sometimes you don't even know it, and they don't even know it. You see what I mean? It's a bad karma and behind. That's why I tell you, in this world, most of us are made blind, deaf and dumb. <laughs> We don't really know the truth behind anything. Sometimes we blame the wrong person, you know? Maybe it's not you who make her sick, but she's making you sick all your life now, psychologically sick. So who is bad for whom? I don't want to say anything, but, you know, even if you make her sick at that time, she makes her sick all your life, so it's equal, huh? Isn't it? I'm strong, stronger now. You feel stronger now? But don't, these feelings don't go, go don't out. Don't go there. away yet. The, oh. These feelings come up all the time. Okay, okay. The feelings. So every time you feel like that, you say, no, mm. it's not me, okay? You haven't done anything to her, have you? No. You haven't done anything bad to her except what she told you. Uh, no, no. No? Okay, forgive, okay. Forgive her. And then you're good. Then you're good, okay? And look. Even if she told you that and there's no proof for that and you still love her and you still feel yourself guilty instead of blaming her, then you are good, okay? For that, it's proven that you are a good person. Finito. Thank you. Yeah? Thank you, Master. Uh, you're welcome. So there's no reason you should blame yourself, okay? All right? From today, finito, no more. You're a good person, okay? And I say so. <laughs> yeah. But I give you a cake, huh, to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> a Chinese cake even. Yeah. Here yeah, and some chocolate even. Your brother is good for you. Look at that. Come here. Mm. You eat all this, okay? It's just for you. There you go. And you are very good, okay? Please free yourself, okay? You're a very good person. And I love you so much, and God loves you. I love you too, so okay. much. Don't worry about it. Okay. And I'll just listen and... Don't listen to it. <laughs> it's good that you don't blame your mother for anything. It's good for you. See, it's good for you. Yeah. 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 She's sick also, you see what I mean? Maybe a little imbalance, okay? So on her birthday, you bring roses, chocolate, okay? I like that I can say that I love her now, I can say it before. That's good, that's good, yes. Just show your love, that's it, nothing else, all right? Yeah. Take care of her because she's sick a little bit, yeah? Maybe that's why. She doesn't understand. Yeah, that's why, okay? That's why. She's not well, so she says something like that. It's it's like a drunken person. When he says something, he doesn't mean it. He doesn't understand what he's saying, okay? Don't, don't listen to that. Some of the tragic tolls of alcohol. 1.8 million alcohol-related deaths per year worldwide. Cost of alcohol-related illnesses, 186.4 billion US dollars in the United States. Up to 210 to 665 billion US dollars globally disease. Higher amounts of alcohol increase the cancer risk. Even half a glass of wine daily increases the risk of mouth or throat cancer by 168 percent. Cancer of the liver, breast, colon, liver disease, cardiovascular disease, metal toxicity, brain damage, amnesia and dementia, brain shrinkage, organ failure, heart, liver, kidneys, stomach, pancreas, eyes, birth defects, mental retardation, fetal alcohol syndrome, stunted growth, facial deformity, sudden infant death syndrome, miscarriage, alcohol-related violence, child abuse, 50% of cases, 
Violence toward loved ones, 30% of cases. Violent acts, 40 to 80% of cases. Suicides, 20 to 50% of cases. Plus more. I came back from Chechen Republic. Chechen Republic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I came over there uh, in order to uh, hand, hand over your donation uh -huh. for the victims of uh, the earthquake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, during my meetings with uh, Chechen people, mm -hmm. they asked me to transmit you uh, a lot of thanks for your love, your compassion, mm -hmm. uh, your mercifulness. Yeah, I and uh, uh, I do it with my great pleasure. I know, I know. Thank you, Master. <laughs> Thank you to you that you even go you, there. Okay? Good. And uh, we can go there now because it's more free. Probably before we couldn't even do that, no? So the war is getting better in any case, yeah? More like family now. Huh? Before, in many countries, we could not go easily, right? And now, in many countries, we came free, yeah? Oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> Yeah. Well, much better than before, huh? Yeah. Remember, I went to Russia and lecture even. Yeah? And Hungary or Bulgaria, Poland. I don't think it was possible before. Right? So the world is getting better, you know? Thanks yeah. God, no? Yeah. yeah. We forgot. It's actually getting better. Right? Yes. Look like a, like a few decades ago. Yeah. Yeah, even the West Berlin is going to come to the East Berlin without having trouble or without hassle. And now we're free to go anywhere. Holland become European Union member. <laughs> <laughs> Bulgaria, Hungarian even. Who would think of that a few decades ago, yeah? Even over decades ago, it's not possible. So we have to be happy with the change that we have, yeah? yeah. So there's a problem with ego. Ego is worse, terrible. It is that if you listen to this ego too much, you forget yourself. You forget your great self, your intelligent self, your wise wisdom self. That is the only problem. And it's a pity if you keep listening to the ego, like you know too much and all that, that you don't know your real self. Yeah, it's not just about arguing and wasting time, wasting money. That is a problem. But this is not the main problem. The main problem is the ego separates us from our true self, from the one who truly knows everything. And if we just think we know everything about this world, then we don't know ourselves. That's the greatest problem with the ego. The ego is the greatest enemy. And sometimes the ego destroys a marriage destroy a relationship, destroy friendship, destroy the love between mother and son and father and daughter even, because of the ego. Because the ego causes conflict all the time. It doesn't want to do anything that is pleasing to the mother or father or pleasing to the partner. It just want to do the thing that causes trouble, you see? And day after day like this, if a partner always causes trouble, then of course the relationship kaput. You cannot remember anything but bad things about each other. Bad souvenir, bad happening, bad event, bad result, anything, never good. So, of course, the relationship cannot live this way. The marriage cannot continue. This is just the physically speaking. Talk about the spiritual level. Of course, you even far away from yourself. If you cling into your worldly know how a little bit. You know, even you don't even know enough and you think you know a lot. And you just cling to that and then you don't know yourself. See what I mean? It's very difficult for me to explain that. I don't know if I made myself clear. I just know it very clear. It's just a word language. Very difficult. 
You understand what it is? Yeah? Whereas if you don't have this guy standing in front of you, yeah, then you look right through yourself, you know it. For example, okay, if you have something in front of you, like even just a thin curtain, you cannot see yourself through the mirror. But if that thin curtain fall out, then you can see yourself clearly. This is the ego problem. It just stands between people. It stands between your real self and anything else that comes near you. And then it makes everything damaged, ruined, or distorted, or it's, it's not the real thing anymore. It's a very pity. And then I feel very sorry for them because this is not the thing we should keep. This is our enemy, you know? The little knowledge that we think we know, that is not our true knowledge. <laughs> Even the knowledge of this world, you know, sometimes, like, there are many ways to do one thing, many ways, yeah? There are quickest way, slow way, you know, waste more money, waste more time way, or a less money but more efficient way, you know, and they always choose the hard way. You know, the ego is really hard to get rid of, very, very hard. And it's ruined many things in this world. It caused war, yeah? It caused uh, death and enemies and hatred and ruin of nations even because of egos. The people who has no ego never want to war with anybody, truly, because they can see through the useless of things. So ego is the worst enemy of everybody. <laughs> in this world. And animals that don't have ego. Dogs don't have ego. I mean, of course, there are one or two who are bad because they breed them in a bad way. They're forced breeding and they sometimes inbreeding, you know what I mean? Like a brother and sister together, they force them to have relations with each other. It's not natural. Or they give them a lot of hormone and all that medicine and they drive them crazy, you know what I mean? So it's not the dog's fault. But with the true dog, for example, they don't have any ego. They are so pure. That's why they can love you every minute. Even if you just go them there and they come and wake and tell immediately the moment you come and love them, they never hold any hatred within their heart for a second. You can see that. So if you want to see the egoless being, look at the dog. Hmm? Truly like that. Most animals don't have ego at all. And the human, you know, interfere and ruin their nature. Okay. That's the problem, you know? We, human, not only ruin ourselves <laughs> by our little so-called knowledge of the world, but we ruin also nature, and we ruin also animals. We force them into crazy, you know, uh, behavior, truly like that. I observe it all and I know it. It's the truth. I'm not just telling from books. It is like that. Yeah. Okay, I love you. We enjoyed your company today for Between Master and Disciples. Animal World, our co-inhabitants, is up next, right after Noteworthy News, here on Supreme Master Television. Let us all live in harmony and happiness with all beings. <laughs>